welcome back. Today is step five of 21 steps forward. Thanks to everyone who's had a chance to write in with your stories about how the first four steps are getting you on the right track or back on track to being better. Please share your steps that you're making in your life really with your friends, your family, your colleagues, and anyone else you know, not in an attempt to hold it over their heads, but to give them inspiration to follow their own steps to better fitness. Feel free to reach out to me via email at terrence at 21, that's 21, stepsforward.com with your referrals. Let's get to work. Today we have yet another Tabata that is going to get you warmed and ready for what I think might be one of the most challenging workouts to date. But before I get carried away, here are your three warm up movements. Number one, we're going to go with your push up again. Number two, your back extensions. And number three, window wipers. For the first movement, as I mentioned, that is going to be your push up. Like before uh, our push up, we use a variety of services to get after this particular movement such that you can do the movement with some ease. You don't want to make it too easy, but it shouldn't also be way too hard. So you can use uh, a chair or a bench push up against the wall and you can push off that surface or you can use your counter height and that will help you push off that surface. If you're down on the ground you can use your plank position which I'll show you and or you can do your plank position from your knees and that will help you out as well. We're going to do this a Tabata style so we're working for 20 seconds resting for 10 seconds and because we have three different movements and four rounds you will need 12 intervals. We're going to be doing a push-up so you have a variety of surfaces that you can push off from. I'm going to show you the plank position that I hope in the end you will get to. So you're going to start in high plank position. From here I'm squeezing my butt, my elbows are at full extension or my arms are at full extension. I'm going to lower myself down to the bottom and then press back up. I am looking for your chest to hit whatever surface that you choose. So if I'm going off my bench, when I lower myself down, I should be able to touch that surface at my chest and then press away to a full lockout. Second movement, as I mentioned before, is going to be your back extensions. Back extensions are done on the ground as well. And we're gonna be in this prone position from here. I'm gonna lift up and back down. Lift up and back down. Now, for me, I have my toes planted down on the ground, but if you would like to, you can lift your legs as well and get into that elevated foot position, and that will give you a bit more challenge. So from here, my feet are elevated, up and down, up and down, up and down. So that would be your back extension. The final movement is going to be your window wiper. And your window wiper is done, and I like a little soft surface for my tissue. All right. And for some of us, if you like, you can use an object out in front of you, but essentially that movement is gonna have your legs moving from side to side. Notice I'm keeping my feet tight and close together as I'm moving side to side. I've chosen to stabilize myself with my hands here as I'm moving side to side because my focus is on my abdominals. Okay, so those are your window wipers. Again, this is a Tabata style, so 20 seconds worth of work, then 10 seconds rest, then move on to the next movement. You got four rounds, three movements, so a total of 12 intervals. For a workout today, we have two workout sets separated by one minute of rest. So you will need to have a running clock of nine minutes set on your Gymnex app, which you can find in, your, in the app store for both Android and iPhone. Each set comes with three different movements. So in the first set, we have 20 seconds of sit-ups, 20 seconds of our 90 degree dead butt hold, and 20 seconds of our slow leg extensions. In the second set, we have 20 seconds of glute bridges, 20 seconds of reverse lunges, 20 seconds of jump squats. Complete four rounds of the first set before resting for one minute and continuing on to completing four rounds of the second set. Today, I want you to lean into any mental hurdles 
you may have about this workout. And most importantly, let's have some fun. Now for a review of your movements in your first set. So your first set has sit-ups, 90 degree dead bug holds, and slow leg extension. So let's quickly look at that piece here. Again, we've done sit-ups before, so uh, if you have an ab mat, great, use that. If not, use a folded hand towel and that will help support your low back. So I'm gonna put this back in behind me. Sit-ups for me, I like to see them in the butterfly sit. So you're gonna sit with your bottoms of your feet together. Knees are out. You're gonna reach up overhead, touch your toes at the top. So working this way for 20 seconds. Immediately after the 20 seconds are done, you're gonna go right into your hold. So now the second movement that you're gonna go right into is going to be your dead bug hold. So that's gonna be me on my back here, pressing down through my low belly. I'm gonna be 90 degrees on my legs and my hands are gonna be up overhead. I'm gonna hold here for 20 seconds. Immediately after this, I'm gonna move into my leg extension. So I'm gonna sit here, legs go out, legs go in. Legs go out, legs go in, legs go out, legs go in. I'm moving this way for 20 seconds. Right from there, I'm gonna go right back into my sit-ups for round two. Working again for 20 seconds. Then to your dead, dead bug hold, then to your dead bug hold for 20 seconds, then to leg extensions for 20 seconds. Again, you're working continuously for 20 seconds a piece for four rounds. After you finish your four rounds, you got one minute break. After that one minute break, and you are gonna complete four rounds of three other movements. They are glute bridges, reverse lunges, and jumping squats. Now. The movements start on the ground. Glute bridges are feet planted, hands down, head on the ground, driving my hips up towards the ceiling. Looking for continuous movement here for 20 seconds. Once that's done, you're gonna stand up immediately and go into your reverse lunge. Now your reverse lunge is done such that you're taking a step back. The knee goes down towards the ground. And you're, again, you're moving this way for 20 seconds. So third and final movement are gonna be your jump squat. So just make sure your area is clear of all hazards. Hips go back and down and a little hop at the top. Now, if that hopping doesn't work for your knees, no problem. Hips go back and down. Just get your air squats, get as low as possible, keeping your belly nice and tight, standing up nice and tall. From there, you'll go right back into your glute bridges. So, back to the ground. 20 seconds here. Drive your hips up. Immediately into your reverse lunges. 20 seconds. And then finish off jumping squats. Where you're moving continuously for 20 seconds and you're looking for four rounds, after which time, after you finish that second set, you will be done. Really excited for your workout today, folks. Log your results for yourself and ask yourself how you felt and sort of review your workout. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.